Hey y'all, it's me Roxy G. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it's gonna be like an in-depth uh, view and a more detailed video with regards to my uh, Saint Laurent large shopping tote which I unboxed on um, a previous video. So here is my Saint Laurent grand shopping tote or in the US website is labeled as um, the large shopping tote fringe in the uh, dark underside so this is I believe a limited release for their shopping tote so if you're not a fan of the fringes on the side um, their shopping totes are also available without fringes I'm not really sure how big of a price difference but I believe it's not that um, super big of a difference but the measurements all the details I believe are all the same even though the tote doesn't have a fringe or without a fringe so I'll just base uh, the measurements from what it says on the website and also on the other details so for the measurement for this tote it is 14.4 uh, inches in length 10.9 inches in height and then on the width it is um, 5.1 inches and I think this is comparable to a Neverfull MM because uh, one time I was asking um, my dear IG friends if ever what is like a better buy if it's um, the Neverfull MM or this one a fellow YouTuber I don't know or just an Instagram friend uh, helped me or discussed with me what's since she uh, has um, both bags so um, she sent me like photos of the Neverfull MM and this one side by side so it helped me in my decision but anyways the bag is made of 100% top skin and it is unlined so the interior feel is a little bit suede-ish microfiber-ish but it's a little bit uh, it has a little bit of texture but it's uh, also same as the microfiber lining of Louis Vuitton but not as velvety and smooth as the Louis Vuitton ones so just like the Neverfull MM it also or the Neverfulls uh, it also has a removable um, pouch so just um, remove or uh, unlock this part and then you can carry this as your clutch also the Sandaran logo in silver and the smooth uh, zipper is also in silver and the leather pool it says San Laurent on this part and then Paris on the other part and then on the inside you have your maiden stamp on um, one side of the stitching here this is where your serial number and then the made in stamp which says uh, which says made in Italy and on the back or onto other parts of the tote it doesn't have any logos or any marks and if you're interested with this bag uh, this is the product code this is a 2016 release and 410666CSV1N uh, is the style code which is uh, the similar code if you're going to take a look on their website and then it says what is LBO shopping and all that um, French information so um, the exterior is actually smooth but it has well it's smooth but it's not really that grain compared to the caviar from Chanel but I don't know if you can see there is the texture for the exterior leather and I believe and I'm guessing that this is a little bit prone from scratches well hopefully not because it is um, a little bit textured with a little bit of grain so maybe not that super prone to um, scratches but I guess it is more prone to side um, scuffing since the sides are a little bit pointed and we'll just see I, I haven't really used the bag I only used the bag once just to try and feel it out myself 
and I guess I would be back for more of an in-depth uh, review in the near, <coughs> excuse me, in the near future. And yeah, if you have any questions with regards to this bag, you can leave it down below, and I would gladly answer them for you. Once again, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.